It's Tuesday, which means it's time for another tutorial. And today we're going to be looking at NFT20, which is a way for you to trade, swap and sell NFTs. And if you've bought any NFTs in the last year, you'll probably have come across this one problem, which is liquidity. How do you get rid of them? How do you sell them on if you can't find anyone who is as excited about buying them as you were when you bought yours? Now, I came across NFT20, which is this permissionless protocol to do that, to trade and swap and sell NFTs directly one for another. And if I look at the page, it says you can create pools of tokenized NFTs, you can create Dutch auctions, you can swap your NFTs to other NFTs. And it's a really f fun way of looking at this because when we think of NFTs on their own, it, it, it's kind of like you're thinking of OpenSea and you're, you're looking at, you know, looking for a buyer to buy off you. But if you can just trade one for another, well, that's kind of wild. So how does it work exactly? Well. You can look at the assets on display and what you'll find here is a bunch of different ones. I mean, there's quite a few listed here. It's pretty exciting, but the likes of hash masks, the likes of anything from the meme, NFT pool, you've got Decentraland here, you've got, yeah, a lot of kind of well-known NFT properties. We've got Punk20 here. So, what I wanted to do with this tutorial was kind of look at how you might do this. So what I did this morning was I went and I bought myself a meme NFT, which is one of the cards from the Genesis pool, I believe. I didn't actually know, it was just the cheapest one I could find. But here you've got the meme grail relic card. It's a lovely pineapple in a chalice. Very nice it is too. And <clears throat> if you know meme, you know, there's all sorts of cool artists, creating work there at the moment. So I've got this thing and I just thought, well, um, how would I switch this easily for another one? And if you want to easily quickly find, for instance, anything to do or anything issued on Meme, you just type in Meme into OpenSea and then it will give you a whole bunch of different things. You have to do a bit of work on OpenSea to find stuff, but there are some cool things like all the John Newlander stuff. Yeah, I love this stuff depth of field, photorealism, funky pineapples doing funky stuff. What's not to love about that? So going back to NFT 20, <clears throat> I'm basically gonna see what I can do to trade this Genesis card that I've got within. So the normal thing you have to do is connect a wallet. I'm just gonna do that now by clicking on the connect wallet button up here. And that will connect my wallet to the protocol and allow me to work in the same way that you would for any other decentralized protocol. <clears throat> And now we're going to select trade on the meme pool. So what I want to do here is swap my NFT for meme 20, which is the NFT 20 version of a token that you can then do other stuff with. And we'll look into that a little bit later. But essentially what I want to do now is select this. It takes a bit of time for it to pop up. I'm going to select that one NFT that I have <clears throat> and I can swap it for NFT 20. Yes, please do that. Thank you. You have to make sure you select one. I only selected zero, big error. Select that. Okay, now it's gonna tell me that I can swap this one NFT for 95 meme 20 tokens. Now, before we actually do that, let's go into the FAQs and have a look at what it actually does. So when you deposit any NFT onto one of the pools available, you get tokens for your NFT immediately. And these are the meme, so the NFT 20 tokens. And NFT 20 itself has what's called the Muse token. It's a, it can be earned via farming. And the idea is to power the protocol, power the platform, and the tokens will be burned and you get protocol fees, all that usual stuff. And so here we are. Basically you deposit your NFT into a pool and then once you deposit it, you'll get the equivalent of in tokens, which you can do a few things with. So you can sell them on Uniswap, you can hold on to them, hope they go up and down in value. And then you can also exchange them directly for another NFT available in the pool. So you can um, extract liquidity from your NFT, which gives you tokens. And those tokens can then be traded for another NFT that you might find that's available on the platform. And then you can also use those tokens a bit on a higher quality NFT and of course, like with anything else in DeFi, you can add liquidity for those tokens on Uniswap and stake the LP token under the farm tab and earn extra tokens in the form of Muse, yada yada, usual farming. So what we're gonna do now is go back to, 
where we were and trade that NFT. So just go through those steps again. I'm gonna select one, make sure I do it right this time, select. And once again, it's telling me I can swap one NFT, which is my lovely Genesis card, the Chalice card, I'm gonna swap it. And as usual on Ethereum, <clears throat> there will be a gas fee to pay. And is there anything that we have to do on Ethereum that doesn't involve a gas fee? Well, a few things. But here it's gonna be $22.98. Is that a bargain? I don't know, I don't care. We're just gonna do it anyway. Confirm. That's what we have to do with these tutorials. We just have to do it. And now we wait, because that's what we do. And we wait. So I will see you once this waiting is done. Right, looking at that transfer, that transaction has gone through. So I now should be in proud possession of some meme 20 tokens. And if I look now, yes, it tells me my balance is 95 meme 20. So what can I do with these meme 20 now I have them? Good question. Well, there's a couple of things I can do. If we look at the farm tab, there is an option for me to add liquidity to the farm for meme 20 and ETH, so I could set up farming by, set, by going to Uniswap and setting up a, a LP tokens with, which represent meme 20 and ETH, the way you do for a normal pool. But I'm not gonna do that today because what I really wanna do is swap that card that I just sold for a different card. Now, the important thing to remember here is that you're working within the ecosystem that you're working within. So if you trade a hash mask NFT, you're gonna get hash 20 tokens back. And with those, you can buy more hash masks, but you can't just then take those hash 20 tokens and buy meme 20 tokens. That's not how it works. So if I want to get a different NFT now with the tokens that I just got, I need to work within the meme limited pool. So if I want to swap that meme 20 token that I've just acquired for an NFT, what I have to do is I have to go into the drop down list here and start looking for the NFT that I want. So there's that chalice that I just sold. And let's say I want to trade it for CZ, then I would select the CZ. Oh, it's opened up OpenSea. Well, why wouldn't it? Actually, that's exactly kind of what I want to do because that's pretty much the same price that I paid. So that looks like a fair swap to me. Let's go back to the NFT20 page. So I'm going to select one of those. And it tells me that I need 100 meme 20 tokens. So I have effectively screwed myself because I don't have enough meme 20 tokens, but you kind of see how it works. I was fine with screwing myself. I can throw away 45 bucks just to show you how this works. But effectively what you need to do here is make sure that what you're selling and what you're trading will be enough to give you what you need. But look at it this way. It's a different way of getting some liquidity on what you want. And it might be a different way of browsing for assets that are just sitting there in the pool and available for you to trade. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with my 95, which is tantalizingly short of 100. <clears throat> but if I wanted to get the CZ one, I would need 100 meme 20. And what I probably should have done is looked and seen how much meme 20 I would need to get hold of that CZ card in the first place. But Essentially, it's a cool little protocol, it's a cool little platform that allows you to do a bit more with your NFTs and avoid OpenSea. And to be honest, it wasn't that expensive. So I'm curious to see where this one will go. This probably wasn't the most useful tutorial in the world, but we have to try these things out. And with NFTs, we have to be looking for liquidity wherever we can find it because it's in short supply. Well, I hope that was useful or maybe not, but at least it was a different look at doing something with your NFTs. I'll see you on the next one. This was Tutorial Tuesday, and my, wasn't it a good one? Bye.